welcome to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pato. Well, as you're probably aware, this isn't any old episode of Punting Pato because it's Caulfield Cup Day and it's going to be Cracker Jack. First off, I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race four, number one, Excel Plastic. Isn't this little fella just ticking over beautifully? He's been in the placings in all his races, barring his debut, and he looks a nice little stay in the making. His trainer, Pete Moody, is brimming with confidence about him in this, as highlighted by his article in the winning post. And then after that, I'm going for race seven. Number two, Borghurst. Oh, gee, look. I never thought it was possible to be in love with a horse, but I tell you what, I'm in love with Borghurst, and he won't let me down in this. He's as honest as any horse I've ever seen, and this race is perfect for him. Yes, yes, yes. And then after that, I'm going for race eight. Number three, Master O'Reilly. I reckon this little tyke is the best 2400 metre horse in Australia at the moment. Just look at his record. Three from four over the distance. He won this race last year and his run last start showed that he's going just as good, if not better, than this time last year. He looks a good one to me. And now it's time for Paddo's Puffer. And it's race five, number 13, Cargo Cult. Has there ever been a horse that finds more trouble? <sighs> he would have gone very close last start at Flemington if he had a clear run. But look, the dude's in form, and when he's in form, he's always thereabouts. He's currently paying $7 on sports bet, but I reckon he should be able to get much better than that on the day. Now it's time. Double to glory. Double to glory, what is your tip? Can you tip us a winner or two? Thank you, Dartboard, my double to glory. Gee, I'm sure I'm glad I bought that thing. It's really good. <laughs> and now it's time for our favourite Queenslander, Keith. Take it away, Keith. Good day, hello world. Well, it's one of the big three this weekend, so I'll just concentrate on that meeting for that race. Corporal Cup, give me my thoughts there. Start at the top, mate, and I think Latorio is going to be hard to beat in this. He's had the right preparation against the good horses, and I thought he's winning the Turnbull at Fortnite and Dominant. Stephen King's got a good association with him now. Should be able to give him a good run from the Ten Alley. Also, I think Weekend Hustler shouldn't, doesn't deserve favouritism, and I don't like him in this. There's plenty of value in the race elsewhere. Taking all that into account, I think the best bet is to ride Vittorio in the trifecta with the field. For 100 bucks, you get about 20% dividend. For those who think Weekend has Hustle's a chance, and I think Vittorio each way is probably the best way to go. All right, pal, have a good time, mate. Enjoy the Caulfield Cup. Oh, you can, I, I can always rely on that dude. Oh, he is one good bloke. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, he is, well, he's one top bloke, mate. He's one top bloke. And anyway, I've got a, I've written an absolute corker of a song for the Caulfield Cup. I hope you like it. Here it is. Take it away, Paddle. It is here, Caulfield Cup. Lots of kids will be there getting very drunk But not me, no, no, no I will be too busy punting to drink Who do you think will win? It is a very open race this year Will it be a Kiwi? Or will we get hustler come out and just win? Let's go and go good at the races this spring Time All the big pools and jackpots they will be mine now. Cheer loudly as they run down the street. Oh man, I've got goosebumps, I can't wait. 
get this here, cough your cup. Lots of kids will be there getting very drunk, but not me, no, no, no. I will be too busy punting to drink. Yeah. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I'm fired up. I bet you are too. I hope you have a great weekend and happy punting.